On Tuesday, 19 kids and two teachers were killed in Uvalde, a small town in southern Texas, making the tragedy the deadliest one at a school in almost a decade. The shooter, a local high school student, legally purchased two assault rifles and nearly 400 rounds of ammunition last week for his 18th birthday. As of Tuesday, more than 31,000 people have died or been injured due to gun-related incidents in the United States this year, according to the non-profit research group Gun Violence Archive. There are three major causes behind gun violence and mass shootings in the U.S. Firstly, there are too many firearms in civilian hands while the access to those weapons is easy. The President Joe Biden said the idea that an 18-year-old kid can walk into a gun store and buy two assault weapons is just wrong. Secondly, gun rights groups in the U.S. are powerful. They have been aggressively lobbying politicians at different levels to block gun control measures, ensuring a favorable business environment for gun manufacturers and dealers. The cost is that the U.S. has been increasingly divisive on gun-related issues, which have become a contagious culture war over the years. Certainly, partisan politics has prevented a tangible progress from being made on addressing gun issues in the U.S. Democrats and Republicans have been trading criticism of the Uvalde school shooting, but they have not sat down to resolve the differences for the public good. There is a concern that the tragedy would be quickly forgotten when other news grab the headlines. Politicians are expected to turn attention elsewhere until the next shooting occurs.